President Volodymyr Zelensky has accused Russian commanders of craziness in their efforts to capture the eastern town of Bakhmut. The town, which sits in the Donetsk region, has been the centre of Russian attacks for months. Taking the town would be a symbolic victory for Russia. Meanwhile, Ukraine's defence minister has warned the battle to retake territory from Russia, Russian forces in southern Kherson is proving more difficult than it was in the northeast. Partly because of wet weather and the nature of the terrain, the area was one of the first to be taken by Moscow in this war and has been at the centre of the fiercest clashes in the last few weeks. Well, let's talk to our correspondent, Hugo Bishega, who is in Kyiv for us. Uh, Hugo, first of all, let's start with President Zelensky's comments uh, about the eastern town of Bakhmut, describing it as craziness on the part of Russians. Yes, yeah, Sally. Uh, and this town has been under heavy bombardment for months uh, in the Donetsk uh, region. The town itself does, doesn't have a lot of military value, but it would put uh, cities around uh, Bakhmut uh, within uh, reach of Russian artillery. So perhaps it's a strategic position for the Russians there uh, and would also help uh, Moscow change the narrative that Russian forces are retreating. So the Russians have been trying to seize uh, this uh, town uh, and they haven't been successful so far. But again, President Zelensky calling the tactics there uh, crazy in the east of the country. I think uh, yesterday what was interesting is that we had a rare press conference uh, from the defense minister here, Oleksiy Reznikov. And uh, again, he said uh, the situation in the Kherson region was more difficult than uh, uh, the offensive in the northeast of the country. He talked about uh, the rainy uh, conditions uh, there, uh, hampering uh, efforts of Ukrainian forces to take back territory in that strategic region in the south of the country. And at the same time, Ukrainian officials are saying that Russian forces are fortifying their positions in the uh, regional capital, Kherson. Uh, and obviously, Kherson is one of the four regions that President Putin claims to have annexed. So it's very uh, strategic, also very important for the Russian to uh, defend uh, their positions in this part of the country. And again, I think the Ukrainians are warning that uh, a fierce battle for Kherson uh, may be on the horizon as Russian forces are sending in more troops, including recently mobilized soldiers, to defend their positions in Kherson. And also uh, the, the civilians who are in Kherson, and as you say, they've sort of been living in terrible conditions now since the beginning of this war have been told to leave and many of them have responded to that, haven't they? Yeah, we've uh, we had an update from the Russian appointed officials in Kherson saying that 70,000 civilians had been uh, evacuated from the western bank of the city to other parts of uh, Kherson. Uh, the Ukrainian forces are advancing along the Dnieper River, and I think uh, the expectation is that uh, fighting may happen on the western bank of the city. Uh, so that's why they've urged civilians to uh, leave uh, that part of the country. But again, I think it's incredibly difficult to get a clear picture of what's happening there uh, in Kherson. It's always very hard to uh, talk to people living in occupied areas. There is a news blackout in terms of covering the Ukrainian advances there. So there is a lot of uh, the claims and counterclaims coming from uh, both sides. So it's very difficult to get a clear picture of what's happening there. But it seems that uh, fighting uh, is likely to intensify as uh, the Ukrainians get closer to Kherson. Okay, thank you. Hugo Bishega for now in Kyiv for us.